Welcome back. I am DC creator and host of Barside Jive. Welcome to my daily dose of rock music history. Today is Thursday, March 12th, 2020, and you are witnessing my Satisfaction Guarantee Tour Day 38. Remember, you can check out my Daily Dose archives as well as all my other content on YouTube. Just search Barside Jive Live. I am coming at you live from the vocal studios in North Dallas. Now, what do you say we talk some rock and roll? On this day, 1957 was the year Buddy Holly and the Crickets record Maybe Baby, which would be released the following year and climbed to number 17 in the U.S. and number 4 in the U.K. At RCA's Nashville Studios, Elvis Presley records his entire upcoming album, Something for Everybody, in less than 12 hours on this day, 1961. On this day in 1966, the Levi Strauss Company began selling bell-bottom blue jeans in the U.S. Don't you wish you could still fit into yours? Uh Uh-huh. Paul McCartney married photographer Linda Eastman in a small civil ceremony at the Marleybone Registry Office in the city of Westminster in central London on this day in 1969. Contrary to the popular rumor of the day, she was not related to the Eastmans of Eastman Kodak. Yeah. Paul's brother Mike served as the best man, but none of the other Beatles were in attendance. Linda would die of cancer on April 17, 1998, at the age of 56. On this day, 1974, John Lennon and Harry Nielsen are thrown out of the Troubadour nightclub in Los Angeles, California, for heckling the Smothers Brothers. Nielsen, a good friend of Tom Smothers, thought he was helping the act because Tom had struggled through weak material at an earlier day. Uh Uh-huh. The Sex Pistols were involved in a fight at London Speakeasy Club on this day in 1977, resulting in one of the show's engineers needing 14 stitches in his head. On this day in 2001, in a poll conducted by the Recording Industry Association of America, music fans voted Judy Garland's Over the Rainbow as the song of the century. The Rolling Stones' Satisfaction came in at number 16, and the Beatles' I Want to Hold Your Hand was number 26. I guess it wouldn't be so much I want to hold your hand anymore, right? It would be more more like, it would be more like, I want to bump your elbow. This coronavirus thing has changed everything. (laughs) Okay. Rosalind Morganfield, the 34-year-old daughter of blues artist Muddy Waters, surrendered to police on this day in 2004 after a warrant was issued accusing her of being involved in the 1996 murder of 19-year-old Timothy Jason Harrington during a drug deal. On this day in 2007, LaVon Helm, the former drummer for the band, filed a lawsuit against a Manhattan advertising firm over the use of the group's song, The Wait, in a television commercial for cell phones. Helm received a royalty payment for the use of the song, but didn't feel he was adequately compensated. Bob Dylan mingled unnoticed among 14 other tourists at John Lennon's childhood home in Liverpool on this day in 2009. The folk legend strolled around the place where the late former Beatle grew up, with his Aunt Mimi and Uncle George, and later said that he was enthralled to see the bedroom where Lennon wrote some of his earliest songs. On this day in 2012, Mike Hosack, drummer for the Doobie Brothers on their hits Blackwater, listened to the music, and China Grove died of cancer at the age of 65. He left the band in 1973, but returned in 1987 to record the album Cycles, Brotherhood, 
and 2010's World Gone Crazy. Former Iron Maiden drummer Clive Burr died at the age of 56 after a long battle with multiple sclerosis on this day in 2013. And that, kiddies, is rock and roll and wraps my rock history lesson today. But don't worry, because there's more coming from me to you tomorrow and every day as I peel back the pages of my big-ass book of rock music history and explore the past of the rock legends on my daily dose of rock music. You can catch up on all my Daily Dose episodes as well as all of my content on YouTube. Just search Barside Jive Live. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Barside Jive. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me today and every day as I can do my Daily Dose. Please seek every day to be a hero in someone's life. Don't ever forget. And I will see you very soon, like tomorrow. In the meantime, peace, love, and rock and roll. Have mercy. Not Bill. Barsidejivelive.com That's Barsidejivelive.com Feel the rock on 98 KZE.